If you look far enough in that eastern sector, you can still see a little bit of a cloudoid back there. Can you see that? I'm Joseph Clyde of AscensionPathway.com on the Evan Fain YouTube channel, bringing you another edition of Gridwork Geoengineering on a daily basis. Today is May 2nd, 2016. Eastern sector, other than that cloudoid, completely cleared off. Southern. Western, Northwestern, and then the Northern sector. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We've got a remnant of a rail. And there you see it right in there. They're just never going to stop railing us up. It doesn't matter where you're at, who you are, what time it is, there's always somebody going to be up there railing it up. And there you see the silver bullet with the intermediate mix. Now some people would think this is a contrail, nothing of the sort. That's the chemtrail plume, a diluted version that they spray on these typical days that they, you think they're a clear sky. They're nothing of the sort. Found this in that western sector. Nice good rail. And that's where that guy said it. Wherever there's one, there's another one going the other way. Silver bullets are back out again. Look at this guy. Here's the guy with the mix going from west to east. We saw the other silver bullet going on south to north. Look how he's spewing that. There's the, uh, the other side of the cross grid. Leftover plume. Sitting right up there. So if you think it's a clear sky gay, you got to guess again. I'm going to be taking a picture of the moon here too. You can bring it in. There it is. A lot of weird stuff happening in space right now. The government's covering it up. We already know all of this. We're going to dig deeper. These people bond together to find out what's really going on. Just outside the recreation center, get ready to get my workout in. This western sector right over the cell tower array. Got a gigantic cloudoid. All fluffed up. People have a hard time with this, but it's pretty easy. Look back here first. We got rails back there. See those rails? We got railage. But back to the cloudoids. Think of it like this. You got a couple different dirty toxic soaps and you put them all together and they're electronically conducted through the cell tower and harp device they're able to blow them up like freshly bubbles like that look at all this see see what i'm saying this is all down the mountain range just finished my workout look at this fluff job look at the corked on the end there look at that nipple effect look at that what do you got there look at this got soot falling out of the cloudoid Here's more of evidence here where this is that cloud out I showed you when I was leaving the gym. Yeah, look at it now. There ain't no fluff in it at all. It's just all plasmatic, toxic, who knows, plastics, viruses, you name it, it's in there. 
Well, it looks like we got a guy spraying inside the plume. Let's see if I can reel him in. There he is. Slightly below the sun at my angle. But look at the plumage. See how it's spittering and sputtering out of there. One look at that. One plume disperses faster than the other. Oh man, when are people gonna wake up? Looking at the sun. I know I'm gonna get some sunspots here. But uh, we're going to be looking at that sun a lot more often now. We'll dis disclose that later. But look at that soot breaking apart out of those cloudoids. That's sad. Here we go. We got a blue bottom silver bullet. They're starting to come out now. Just missed a silver bullet with no plume going the other way. Looked like a possible passenger jet. That's why I didn't uh, waste any time. But look at this little purple cloudoid embedded in that white fluff. How can that be? Here we go. Blue bottom silver bullet with no plume. Going the other way. Can you see him in there? Visible mix, intermediate mixes. We know it's all fake and we know there's shit coming out of there. Sorry about the language, but sometimes I just can't help it. And I don't even apologize. Well, I apologize, but I don't. I apologize to the people who have to listen to it. I don't apologize to the people who are doing it. So let's just have an understanding. And so if you hear me cuss a little bit, it's just out of frustration. In just a matter of an hour, the geoengineers have managed to do this. Eastern sector, northern sector, northwest, west, as usual. Look at that soot. Already black. Can't really get a picture of the southern sector because you got too many trees involved here where you can see how dark it already is. And this is supposed to be the Valley of the Sun. I see the valley of the soot. Look at that. Again, this is a view of a chem trailer coming up on top of the cloudoid, going over top of the plume. Just blowing the rail. Then all that stuff will just block down and turn into that black soot down there. And here in jets everywhere, and now we got more evidence that they're still spraying over top of the plume. Very covertly, you can hear them. Just look up, you'll see them. Look at this monstrosity coming out of the at eastern sector. Look how big and polluted that one is. When this one collapses, oh my gosh, it's going to be just one nasty. Look at all these other ones that are coming up the pipe. Gray grid above me. Hole in the grid up there. I'm sure they're gonna have that filled in. That's for just where that jet was at. Again, looking up at the sun. We'll explain at another day, another date, what's going on up there. Only been a few minutes. Look what's happening to that bad boy. It may, could possibly even flatten into a euphumbulus, but we'll just see. It could. I'm hiding under the tree to block myself from the silvery reflection. But just look what they've done to the soot. They've got a big black soot bomb all around me up, over the top and then into that eastern sector. Just look at this, what they're doing here. The outline is gray and cartoony. Gray cloudoids mixed in there. It's just. When are they going to tell the people the truth? Like it always says, there's always something interesting in between the trees. Just got a little cloud out and uh, a hole in the grid. Here's a prime example. Here's the edge of that grid that I just showed you. All that soot. Look at the edge. It's falling down and it's pushing down on this other cloudoid right there. See it? It's pushing it down. It's all going to get lower. You can hear the jets up there right now <laughs> spraying. Let's see if I can reel one of them bad boys in. 
Got a little tiny hole here, but I'm not seeing him. He's probably covertly hiding behind the other cloudoids in the soot. Look at that over there. North by northwest. <laughs> oh boy, look at the bottom layer down here. They got a lot of cell towers in Sedona too. That would be heading into Sedona, Arizona. High energy and vortexes and stuff. But look at over here, look how this soot has fallen. Look at this little connecting rod there, you might so to speak. Soot, white, falling here. You can see it all breaking apart. All right, here's that bomb I showed you earlier. Look, it's already turned into soot. As this initial soot ends up meeting with it, and this is what's happening right now. There's still some fluff left showing on the edge. You can see, let me move over here so you can get a better look. You can see how it's all collapsing all over the monster. See, there's the other, there's the other peak there getting smothered by the black soot. It's all going to turn black eventually anyway. But it uh, gives you the illusion that it's a white cloud. Ha! <laughs> what a joke. Look at this over here in that northern sector. Look at this. How much stupider can this thing look? I mean, you got the, what, the four kings there? Three kings? <laughs> and whatever. And Junior. Looks like there's another one over there. And then look what's behind that. You got another big bomb, another layer. My guess, these are all different plumes. And they're all starting to collapse on each other. Look at that chemtrail that went through there. It's already black. It's already black. Still got a hole in the grid. I'm going to show the sun again. I'll explain later at another time, but there's something going on with that sun. And look over here in that western sector, you can see the soot starting to fall. White and black. <laughs> a couple of chunks hanging over here on the edge. That's all getting ready to collapse and fall. People might think it's even raining, but it's not. Look at this. Silver bullet, no plume. I just missed a silver bullet. Followed by a silver bullet, blown plume. And then they escaped inside the cloudoids. Usually the way it goes is you got one pluming, visible, one not. And here's the one that is. Just seconds later. Caught him going by. I don't know if you're going to pick him up or not on here. There he is. Looks like a CIA evergreen air. Can't verify it though. He's too far away. But I still got him. So we're seeing another pattern. Two going the same way. One with plume, one with not. Or suspected not. Not really sure. Not really sure. But my guess is they've got that invisible poem. I don't know what's in it, but it can't be good. I don't know who this guy is, but he's not blowing any plume. He's loud and he's low. Passenger jet, perhaps? And then the Albuquerque? Perhaps. Perhaps not. There's no one in the, in the government that you can trust. Saw a good movie last night. It's on YouTube. You can check it out for free. It's called Toxic Skies. Check it out. It's not all about geoengineering, but you could, the cover-up is there. I can't help but nab this. With the reflection of the sun, you can really see that white soot disperse off the edge of that grid. See? We back it off again so you can see a better view. There you go. See how it's all breaking apart here? Just look at those, look at that wisps. Just that's just white soot. That's all that is. You can see it over here, it's this whole thing starts to collapse and fall on us. Well the geoengineers got it the rain soot mixture. Look at that soot. And it's sprinkling down right on us. Look at that stuff just hanging in the sky. How can anybody in their right mind think that is real rain? I just don't get it anymore. After all this, look at that soot. It's just 
Nasty. Nasty, nasty. I'm heading in. I'm waiting for a jet to come out of the plume over here. In the meantime, look at this. Rays of soot. You see those? All right, back to this guy. He's got his plumers off. Can you see him in there? I'm not making him out. Should be right under that second phone line somewhere. Made a lot of noise. Look what's over here. Look at, we got a rainbow. How can that be? Doubles too. Interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> well, here's what's happened. You can see everything collapsed. Remember that bomb? This is it. Couple they didn't able to get over there than up on the other side of the tree, but the rainbow is cool, huh? Wow, look at this rainbow now. It almost looks legit, doesn't it? Look at that. Wow. Right into the darkness. But look at this is the best rainbow I've seen in a long time. Look at that. Unless we're getting the planets that are showing that up off the reflection, I don't know. Looks pretty good though, doesn't it? Makes you wonder. Here's a better view of that Eastern Bike or Eastern Center. Get right down at the bottom of that. We'll go right through that friggin' rainbow. Wow. Back it off. Look at the color. There's another jet up there, I can hear him. And he's low. I'm gonna back off and see if I can find him. But just check, you can see multiple colored rails in there. Look at that. It's a double whammy. Could that possibly be the reflection off those planets? Because with all the soot, we can't get a decent rainbow. Huh. Well, there's always a first for everything. Just look at that soot on the bottom of that, though. Come on, how can you get a colorful rainbow like that with that black soot dropping down? And to get it like that, sure, it's in the hole in the grid, but it's also in the soot. There's more to this than meets the eye. Rainbow still shown by that north by northeastern sector. Wow. Samuel Hoffman, I don't know if he, anybody knows who, you, who he is, but Google him, check him out. He says that these reflections could possibly be humongous mass bodies in our solar system that NASA has refused to tell us. <laughs> Imagine that, with all this white soot. And up here. <laughs> There's another hidden rainbow in there, too. And as, le as I leave you all, there you see what's going on there. Looks like a freaking blue tail. We're gonna blow on the plume. Look where he's headed. Right into the plume. There he goes. He's inside the plume. Watch this. I flip this over. Freaking looks like a bomb went off, doesn't it? <laughs> Have a good night. Yeah, yeah.